Hey guys, welcome to another Trade Genius Podcast. Bob and Phil here, as always. Guys, Bitcoin is pumping. Is the pump going to continue? We're going to talk about all the important levels that matter here. Let's get into it. Trade Genius. Hey guys, I want to tell you something that we do that really will change the way in which you look at trading and also absolutely help you increase your profitability and how much money you make. It's the Trade Genius newsletter. We put the newsletter out Sunday night through Thursday night, and this really looks at the plumbing of the markets and helps prepare you for the next trading day and help you make money. And, and we give you a lot of information. We give you market statistics. We give you market levels. We give you the seasonality, what's happening with different sectors of the market, and we will help you identify whether the market's in a bear mode or a bull mode, or whether it's euphoric, whether it's despondent, and it just puts you in a position to be on the right side of the trade. So. Take advantage of our offer that we have below and you'll love it. I mean, one trade that you make with this thing can pay for definitely a month, maybe even a year's worth of service. It's that powerful. Use promo code podcast for 15% off the retail price of newsletter. Thanks for listening. All right, Bob. So very bullish move on Bitcoin, you know, over a thousand dollars from Sunday night or Sunday into Monday. I know uh, we're going to go over some technical things, but you had shared with me a seasonal chart that I think matters and as well as some new toys that we've been messing around with. Yeah, before we get into that, uh, you know, maybe we should do the charts out of order because one thing that we pointed out last week and we actually we didn't get a chance to show it on the podcast. So it's almost like taking credit for something I didn't share with you. But we were showing you all the reversals last week going into a uh, quarter end and we had a Bitcoin reversal. I want to show you the when we put that up there and then also the follow through on that. Check this out, Phil. So this is our uh, algorithm at the bottom and it flashed a reversal on I think it's the 27th. I can't read your chart uh, real closely here. And basically from there, that uh, opening, uh, we've moved up nearly 6% fill and crossed over an important level to 144. It was just a really nice reversal. And I think it has legs because the next chart we're going to show you, this is pretty amazing. I did not expect this. Now, we always knew Q4 is always friendly to crypto. Okay, but you notice it's been more friendly lately than it has been in the past. And so should be a really, really interesting um, Q4 for Bitcoin. Now, having said that, I think we had institutions buying here. They wanted in on Q4, but I think it's still going to deal with liquidity issues through October. But Phil, I'm pretty convinced now that Bitcoin will move with the markets if we get any kind of liquidity pump. You know, I would say early to mid-November, all the way through year end. And I think a lot of this is going to tie in to them getting budgets worked out through, you know, for 2024. And there's just going to be more money sloshing around the system. And I think Bitcoin is going to start absorbing more and more of that. So I want to share that with you. It was really interesting. We saw a big volume move at the end of the day on Mara on Friday, which kind of gave us like, huh, something's up here. Somebody knows something. And who, who should know better? The Bitcoin miners know whether there's going to be activity coming their way and uh, it sure did and we're still early in this move because it did pull back a little bit during the day today but I suspect Phil the rest of the week we should be pretty friendly for Bitcoin yeah what's more impressive about this too is the dollar hasn't relented yet and dollar you know most of the time Bitcoin and equities are inverse of what the dollar is doing and the dollar has just been on an absolute tear you we told you guys dollar wasn't going anywhere you know all this oh the bricks are going to abandon the dollar no it's the world's reserve currency or the large just economy in the world and these things don't change overnight so what do you have you have a bunch of twitter narratives that just blow out people that were positioning short the dollar and now the dollar's up over 107 this is a big move off of the 100 level uh, then we got up to 105 pulled back and now we're up here so in fact let's look at dollar really quickly yeah and so while you pull that up you know there's a an economist out there called exters and he has what's called the pyramid of uh, the inverted pyramid of asset destruction and when you start seeing the dollar start to move with equities and with gold and I would say gold Bitcoin is that you know they're starting to now abandon of the bond market and they're abandoning the uh, emerging market so it's interesting I think this is one of those situations where fear globally may produce really good wins locally you know domestically US dollar based assets so you know it's uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see if this continues yes yeah, so here's the thing right the dollar is just taking off but we do have like one thing i'm keeping an eye on here is this rising
rising wedge, okay, because we are getting overextended a bit on this move. And I think if the dollar retreats back under that previous high at 106.80, then I think we're going to see a, a larger pullback. And that's going to be bullish already for a Bitcoin that's that's been up, you know, $1,000 getting a jump. I think Bitcoin is somewhat of a leading indicator. And I think that it's front running. What I think will happen is this dollar move kind of exhausts in the short term. And so it's giving you a, basically a buy signal for equities. You know, equities is struggling to maintain 4,300 today, but they did come in at the end of the day. There was some short covering and we could potentially see that continue to move off that low. So the dollar, eyes are on the dollar. I think the dollar, if this rolls over, it's just going to create a more exponential move for Bitcoin as that relents. So that's dollar. Now, I agree with Bob on all of the, the seasonality of things. Let's get into the technicals of Bitcoin here because we haven't done that in a while. This is basically our VWAP look. You have yearly VWAP levels, quarterly VWAP levels. You have weekly VWAP levels, uh, monthly VWAP levels, and they all matter. So starting with the, the yearly, I have like a primary and a secondary VWAP. And this is basically when you have your move, your VWAP, your volume weighted average price, right? That's basically just taking an average of where all the volume is taking place at whatever price level. And it's giving you that average. Uh, and a lot of times they're very powerful. What we do is we'll just throw a standard deviation up and down. And that's what we would call your VWAP range. And if you notice here, uh, we came up to, I have a secondary one on the yearly because sometimes um, I use a couple different different calculations. They both matter. We came up to the lower one uh, over the overnight, and then we hit our very top one here up at 28, uh, 500 ish or so. And we retreated. Now, that being said, we also do have a confluence of the quarterly VWAPs here uh, right around this 28,130 level. So it is kind of important at this point after that rejection that we reclaim that. Going to the monthly, after that rejection, we came down to this VWAP level. What is this VWAP level? This is the VWAP from August. So this is your August VWAP. Okay. That level confirms on the close. We never got to it in September. September VWAP's lower. We've kind of left that in the dust. We've broken up through the August VWAP and now we're back testing it and it's holding us support. So that's bullish in and of itself. Uh, on the weekly, we're obviously smoking the current weekly levels. We smoked last week's level. We have an old weekly level from back in August that was never tested old, old VWAP range high. We actually stabbed into that as well and got a rejection. So what does that mean? Well, I think as long as we're holding over this 27,800 uh, level, which is this uh, secondary VWAP range high, I think that's bullish. But the real uh, important one is to get over these quarterlies. And if we do that, then we can extend up to the range high up here at to over 29. So it's a big move that's in play. Now, that's the VWAP levels going over to more of a clean chart here with ranges. Okay, so we've been operating in a large range here. We've gone up to the middle of it. Again, I think this is an important level to hold. On this chart, the range, the middle of the range is 27,830. I'm gonna show you a different one here in a little bit, but this is a key level because as you guys can see, and this is what happens in Bitcoin a lot, you go to the bottom of the range, they get everybody trapped, they run to the top of the range, they get everybody trapped, they run to the bottom of the range, they get everybody trapped, and so on and so forth. And you're gonna get these range rotations until you lose. So once we, if we do finally get a rollover and we think that might start in mid-October, this 25,800 level is really important because we're going to be watching for consecutive daily closes under that. And I think that's going to open us up for a move down to 23. And mind you, everyone's going to be all bulled up up here, right? So the next area we want to look for is 28,8. That's going to get into the bottom of this area that was holding, holding, holding. And then we broke down. We have not retested that. So I think that's on the way. We got really close today, but obviously we got ran into that VWAP technical level on the yearly, which is powerful. So, you know, we retreated, but this is a dip so far that's being bought. So this is a key level up here at 28.8. And obviously the top of the old range up here at 29.850. And it would be logical if we do clear this level that that does come into play. Now, Bitcoin can move really quickly and we could certainly get there before mid-October. So I have this red vertical line here that's basically mid-October. And you know how Bitcoin can scoot real quick, three consecutive big days of green, usually is what we get, three, four, five, and then boom. So we could easily be up here before the middle of the month. You don't wanna be shorting this too early. Uh, but like I said, you know, we got to the middle of that range. Now, what's important here on the daily close, I think this daily close is really important because this blue line is the 144 moving average on the daily. If you guys have been with me since 2017, you know that's, a, that's a, an important moving average I look at on the daily. We're coming back, we're not, you know, how we close today that there's another what three two and a half hours in the day before this closes so if we close over that i think that's going to be very bullish and the reason for that is because a lot of times when we come up to the 144 from below if you guys look back in time you'll see that you know like here for example we come up it rejects you know 
We come up, we have two days basically over and then it rejects again, falls back under. And that's a big failure there. And then we just basically capitulate to what's been our cycle lows. When we came out of the cycle lows, we broke up through it. I know it's a little hard to see here, but we broke up through it. We gave it a little bit of a back test here. We broke up through it, um, very little give back and then boom, out. And then we came back, back tested it here. That was that quick spike. And then immediately we impulsed higher. So these are big reactions that come off this level. Here we came back, finally tested it. We had a big bounce off of it. We had a false breakdown and then we reclaimed it again. And then, and then we held that and then boom, another impulse higher. So these are like really, really key levels. And I think it's really important that we do not see a rejection here at this point. Okay. Just because of that. So that's what's in play here, guys. These are the levels. I think if we start pushing back into this candle, a lot of people are going to key in on this today's wick, right? Because today's wick is basically we took out that swing high but we're not closing over that swing high. Ideally, we get a close over 28, 200 or so. But if we don't, they're going to look at this as a very bearish candle. However, if tomorrow we start eating into today's wick, right, don't fade that move because I think you're, we're going to start an impulse higher. And that impulse higher, you know, like I said, we've got a lot of resistance up here where we broke down. First level, you want to eyeballs around that 28, 900 level. But again, if that does not reject, I think it will initially, but if we start grinding on it and we still got you know room to run before the middle of the month, you know I'm not looking for a lot of bearishness until after this. And the reason for the middle of the month is a couple of things. One, uh, you have cyclical turn dates. We bounced off of a cyclical turn. So we dropped from a cyclical turn, we dropped down into a cyclical turn, and this is the next cyclical turn date up here. Just basically cycle dates that the markets tend to bounce off of, okay? It's just, the, it's just kind of like the rhythm of the market. So you have that, plus you have also uh, options market that's driving the overall macro, and they're giving us tailwinds into that area as well. Now, once we get into that, uh, especially if we're up in this resistance zone, I think you have to buckle up because we have to keep an eye on liquidity as well. And in a, at that point, if the dollar does relent, and pulls back, you got to watch dollar for finding support and making yet another push higher. And that's going to matter a lot for Bitcoin and equities. So I think in the short term, guys, that's what we got. I think we have a move here as long as this area does not collapse. If we get a full collapse and we come back down, uh, the lower level is 26,900, but you don't want to suffer through that entire move. So you, you're probably going to want to stop out probably under 27,600 or something like that at this point under this candle though, you know, and, and we could potentially hold there too. But Ideally, you don't. You hold this 144 and we get more push up into this old zone of resistance. And I think that's a decent risk reward spot, depending how much time's left into the middle of the quarter or the month uh, that you can go ahead and short that. So, Bob, that's basically it for the outlook on Bitcoin here. In short, bulls have the ball up to them not to fumble it. And we could get a push up into 29K. Oh, one last thing. If we do now, keep in mind, this is a move that basically did a 50% retrace off this big swing low off that 144 moving average. We came up to the highs, right? And we pulled back essentially and have held this 50%. So the other bigger picture is if we just get a full on classic Bitcoin squeeze, the FIB target on that is 33,750 up here. And you got to keep in mind, it's Bitcoin. That is entirely plausible into the middle of the month. So that's the other reason why you want to be careful here. That's the bigger picture range. And if we did get that, I think that is a huge gift to short. And yeah, you're gonna be shorting into a big move, but unless it just smokes through that level and starts to falter here, I think you got a good risk reward short up there. So that would be maximum upside, I think, into the mid month is what we're looking at, Bob. Other than that, I think that's that pretty much encapsulate everything that we have in play at this point on Bitcoin. Yeah, no, Phil, uh, thank you. That was really interesting. So guys, uh, it's kind of nice to get some volatility in Bitcoin again. As long as it starts moving, we'll talk about it. And with that, thanks for the podcast today. Guys, thanks for listening. Check us out. Check our service out. The indicator is going to be out this week. So it's going to be part of the basic package. I encourage you to get it. It definitely is going to make you money. And uh, if not, keep watching us. Notification. Like the Google algorithms to love us too. So hit like, subscribe, notification, comment. We answer all comments, you know, unless you're just obnoxious. And with that, Phil, thank okay. you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Trade